Wow, a weekend with Grandpa. I'm sure he's so happy to see us. He probably loves getting visitors. And wait a second, what's this? Least favorite grandchild? You've got to be kidding me. Yeah, sure, put my evil cousins up on the wall and spill coffee all over my picture, Grandpa. Why would you do this to me? Am I or am I not the only grandchild who will brush your dentures? But apparently that counts for nothing. Oh my gosh, sleeping with our eyes open. That's a bit scary. And there's the dentures now. Well, you know what? My denture brushing days are over. Now that I know Grandpa's true feelings, I want an apology. There's Grandpa on the happiest day of his life. The day he got first place in the largest hard candy competition. Well, I hope that hard candy gives you a hug before bedtime because I am running away from Grandpa's house. That is it. I'm not taking it anymore. And you know what? I don't even know if he's going to notice. Oh, actually, just kidding. It, uh, it appears he's noticed. You cannot convince me to come back. I saw the least favorite grandchild picture, okay? Uh-oh, please don't do that. Okay, uncalled for. I will be telling my parents about this. Oh, I am definitely running away now. I am double, triple running away. Okay, not me scattered into a million pieces. Pull yourself together. There we go. Okay, this time we gotta be real quiet. Don't wake up, Grandpa. We gotta get out of here. Oh no, he woke up again. But this time I've got a head start and Grandpa is not as quick on his feet as he used to be. And he might get distracted by those dentures in the middle. Oh no, he's bypassed the dentures. If only I'd had the foresight to leave some hard candies on the floor. I could have distracted him. Like maybe some Werther's Originals or, or some Scotch Mints. Whoa, did Grandpa just... He really just fell asleep standing up, eh? Okay, you probably need to go to a doctor. Come on, wake up, wakey, wakey. No? Okay, that's fine, actually. You just stay asleep there, and I will make my dramatic escape. Up this spiral staircase. Okay, unflattering picture of Grandpa. Don't know why I hung that one on the wall, but that's fine. It's weird. I don't actually remember Grandpa's house having a spiral staircase and what I presume is some sort of tower, but... Oh, wow. Oh, no, I don't remember this at all. Grandpa's been doing some renovations. And what on earth are these? Are these cabbages? Giant cabbages? I mean, Grandpa does love cabbage. Oh, no, they might be Brussels sprouts. Okay, I actually love Brussels sprouts. That's actually fine to me. Weird. So I guess Grandpa moved his kitchen up to the top of the tower. An interesting choice. Oh, look at the, look at the swinging broccolis. <laughs> they're very dangerous, but they're kind of cute. Slightly worried that everything is looking so jumbo. Like, when did I get shrunk? Oh, maybe that's what the spiral staircase does. It's the tower of shrinkage that makes you very small. Oh, and I think I see Grandpa, and he is looking quite large. Did I be concerned about this? Why is Grandpa busting through the wall like that? I thought you were asleep downstairs. This is definitely not what I imagined for my weekend at Grandpa's house. My mom was like, you know, he's getting older. It's good to spend time with him. And I was like, yeah, sounds fun. And look at me now. I have been shrunk into a teeny tiny person and I am being terrorized by giant grandpa. Like I try to be a good guest. Like I don't mind cleaning grandpa's dentures. I don't mind walking a metal balance beam over a pool of lava. But if there's one thing I can't stand, it's being a meanie Bellini. And that whole least favorite grandchild comment, completely unnecessary. But you know what? Not all grandpas are like that. If you have a really nice grandparent and you want to tell me something happy about them, you can tell me in the comment section. Soothe my little soul. What is happening with the tomatoes in this place? What part of grandpa's house are we in now? <laughs> the like weird falling vegetable conveyor belt part. Oh my gosh, look, these are where all grandma's missing dentures went. He was getting all mad at me for losing them. And you know what? They weren't lost at all. They were just up here. What is this pink stuff? It's like Pepto-Bismol or something. Can I, oh, oh no, he's woken up. <laughs> he's mad. He's mad that I touched his pool of Pepto-Bismol. Oh my gosh, I want to tell you one of my favorite memories of my granny. She used to take her dentures out at the dinner table and then smile at me and my brother with her like gummy smile to make us laugh. And it was so silly. My brand new white unicorn coloring book is now available on Amazon. Follow the link in the description. Anyway, how do I get out of here? I need to either escape the house or find a phone to call my parents because I just don't think that grandpa is up to the task of looking after me this weekend. If you agree that I should leave grandpa's house, just get out of here entirely, like leave him to his own devices. You can just snooze, whatever. Give this video a thumbs up and maybe that will give me the strength I need to find my way out of grandpa's weird pecto bismol cage. What is this sign that says the prune factory? Oh my gosh, grandpa has his own in-house prune factory. I mean, I know he loves prunes, but this is a bit much. 
Dang. Okay, Grandpa. We're taking our prune love to industrial levels. What happens when I pull this lever? You know what? I don't even need to know. I just love pulling a lever. Ooh, it's bringing up little steppy steps. Oops. Almost fell. I'm gonna have an accident in the prune factory. If I fall down there, I might get juiced. Juiced like a prune. Oh my gosh. Sweet. <laughs> this flying fox is so good. Respectfully, more factories should include zip lines. Actually, if more workplaces could just have zip lines generally so that the employees can zip from place to place, that would be great. Ooh, what's this? Use these planks to get across. Cool, no problem. So glad that somebody left these planks here. Maybe for a more long-term solution, we could just like build a bridge or something. But yeah, sure. In the meantime, I guess I can use the planks. Absolutely wild to me that Grandpa loves prunes so much that he actually built an entire prune factory directly attached to his house. He hasn't even mentioned it to the family. Grandpa's really just out here being a prune baron. He does it all for the love of the prune, the infinite prune, the lifetime supply of prunes. If you look deep into his eyes, all you can see is prunes. Sometimes I wish I was a prune. Then maybe I could be the favorite grandchild. Actually, just kidding, that's a terrible way to think. I am perfect just the way I am, and I don't need to become a shriveled piece of fruit in order to win the love of my grandfather. So up another tower I climb. Goodbye, prune factory. Farewell. I mean, I guess I'm assuming that I'm leaving the factory. This could just be the upper level of the factory. I don't know. Oh, just kidding. Looks like the factory tour continues up here into the processing section where all of Grandpa's prune juice gets manufactured. Grandpa is deep in his prune era. I'm getting out of here. I'm getting in this vent. On to the next adventure. Oh, goody, a precipice. I have been absolutely hanging for a precipice to just chuck myself off of. Yeah, there we go. That feels good. Sometimes what you need is a good face slide. There we go. I feel so alive. To safety. Where are we now? Are we in the factory? Are we in the house? Have we escaped the house? And okay, no, there's something weird going on here. Grandma's fresh baked cookies. Oh my gosh, I love a super cookie. Thank you so much. Yummy. <laughs> Yo, did I just grow? I think I just got big. Oh my gosh, Grandma just does not tell a lie. She always used to say if I ate all of her food, I would grow up big and strong and fast, and I didn't know that I was meant to take it so literally. But there's the evidence. I do have a little bit of a sore tummy, though. Oh my gosh, excuse me, I'm so embarrassed. Hey, I shrunk back down to normal size. Okay, I guess those cookies only work temporarily. Actually, though, it does bring up an interesting point. Has anyone seen Grandma? <gasps> the room of the golden prune. I thought it was just a rumor. I thought it was just a dream. I thought it was just something that Grandpa would talk about. But she's here. She's real. She's golden. She's pruny. I want to touch. Maybe if I bring Grandpa the golden prune, then I will be the favorite grandchild. Okay, I'm going to steal it. I'm going to steal it for you, Grandpa. Oh, no. It's the Grampinator. No, Grandpa, you don't understand. I was trying to steal the golden prune for you. For you, okay? I've always felt second best next to the prunes. I know that you love the prunes, but can't you love me? Why do you have to attack me in your giant robotic spider machine with the lasers? Like we're family, surely there is no need for lasers. Grandpa, this is your last chance. Your last chance before... Yeah, there we go. That's, that's what happens. Grandpa, are you okay in there? Or are you just... Uh, sinking into the void. Okay, that's gonna make things a little bit awkward at the next family reunion. What happened to Grandpa? Well, it's a long story, but here's the road to freedom. Oh, thank goodness, there's Grandpa. He's okay. He didn't sink into the floor in the robotic spider after all, but now he looks mad. Okay, I thought this was the road to freedom. I thought that I was gonna get out of here. But apparently, Grandpa wants one last chase, and he's surprisingly fast for somebody of his age. All the other oldies, they're asking him, how do you keep in such good shape? And he's like, well, I like to chase my grandchildren. That's my favorite form of exercise. Oh, no, he's asleep again. <laughs> good night. Night, Grandpa. Thanks for a nice weekend. Loved the tour of the prune factory. It was super cool. Oh, swim to freedom. Okay, sure. Freedom tastes so much sweeter when you swim to it. Maybe a little faster, though. There we go. That's better. A speedy, speedy, speedy. Oh yeah, did I mention that I actually live in a castle? This is my castle, my home castle. There's no prune factory, but it's home. 
I also have this enormous animatronic version of myself that just like hangs out in the castle and dances because when you get home after a long weekend at grandpa's house, I mean, I was more like an hour, but it, it felt like a whole weekend. Yeah, when you get home, you just want to be greeted by a giant dancing version of yourself. See, how happy is that? Feels like home. Eat your prunes. Granny, I don't understand. Please let me out. Pardon me. My pals, there is something weird going on with my granny. Something weird that involves these gnomes, this hairless cat, and most disturbingly of all, this picture of me in the garbage bin. I blame the gnomes. Tell me what you did. I was just hanging out with granny. She was baking some cookies in the kitchen. I wanted to see what she was baking, so I tried to go in. She kicked me out, locked me in this room, and then she just fell asleep. So the question remains, my pals, what is going on in the kitchen? I will not sit and wait around. I am taking matters into my own hands. Out of the way. Oops. Me. Quiet. True, that was a bit dramatic and destructive of me. I will hide my shame in the vent. Do we think this vent leads to the kitchen? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, that was Granny burping. At least we're not in a locked room anymore. That's definitely progress. Might just kick this open and okay, now we're in a weird attic. That's all right, hopefully the weird attic will lead us back to the kitchen where we can discover what Granny is up to in there. Mr. Nibbles watching on with interest. Here's the thing, if Granny was just baking regular cookies in that kitchen, then I don't think she'd have any reason to kick me out, which leads me to believe that she is baking irregular cookies. Now, not a lot of people know this, but I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. My Granny can bake the most extraordinary cookies in the world, and I'm not just talking about how they taste, isn't that right, Senior Fish Farts? Now, you might be wondering why did you fall in the spike pit? I am wondering that as well, but you also might be wondering what's so extraordinary about these cookies? They can make you bigger. They can make you faster. Some people think that they can even make you live forever. Dangerous, dangerous if it fell into the wrong hands. That's right. <gasps> oh, we are in. And it looks like Granny's still asleep. Oh yeah, she is snoring like a tractor. All I have to do now is sneak into the kitchen. And, oh, oh, she is awake. Who, me trying to sneak into the kitchen? No, no, I would never. No, you cannot silence me. So things have escalated. Granny gave me a sleeping cookie. I can hardly believe it. Okay, not gonna make that mistake twice. Yeah, go ahead and try to catch me. I am getting to the bottom of this. I am breaking into the kitchen, okay? You cannot stop me with your thunderous farts. Obviously, I'm scared. Everyone would be a little bit scared. They shake the whole building, but oh, there's the door. Oh, she's right behind me. Oh my gosh. What? What happened to the kitchen? This isn't Granny's kitchen. It's like it's been turned into a factory. And she's so mad. Hurry up, pair of puppy. Granny's got steam coming out her ears. Wow, okay. Yeah, this is like a full-on factory. There is no way that these cookies are just for the grandkids and the neighbors. Someone is forcing Granny to pump out cookies. I think they might be using some sort of mind control because she's not usually this angry and she's never kicked me out of the kitchen before, never. She has been acting extremely strangely. And so my pals, as we float up this air shaft, I implore you to consider who might be behind this. Please let me know in the comments section if you have any theories. We are looking for someone who is hungry, capable of mind control, and perhaps might have a plan most nefarious. Oh, whoa, okay. Wasn't expecting this. An underground lair full of crystals and volcanoes and lava and minerals. Wait one diamond mine in second, it's the gnomes. Oh my gosh, it's so obvious. Why didn't I see it before? Oh, I'm falling into the lava. Okay, try again. You'd think they'd build a bit more of a solid bridge. They really need to work on this. It's a health and safety issue. But of course, I have figured it out now. It is the gnomes. They weren't just hanging around outside for no reason on the front lawn. They were waiting for their cookies. Those pesky gnomes have turned Granny's entire kitchen into a cookie factory. They're using their magical powers to force her to bake endless cookies. And they've stolen her knitting projects. Oh my gosh, what won't they do? These gnomes, they've got no scruples. They've got no standards. Oh my gosh, they've even turned Granny's giant balls of yarn into tools of destruction. This is a truly disturbing development. We seriously need to find out what kind of cookies those gnomes are forcing Granny to bake. They could be cookies of strength. They could be cookies of speed. They could be cookies of intelligence. Any of these cookies, if baked in large enough quantities, could enable the gnomes to take over the world forever. Obviously, this is all just conjecture. If you have any theories about what kind of magical cookies these gnomes might be baking, please let me know in the comments section. I could really use some help. Even though I'm forced to conclude that the gnomes are probably evil, I have to say, I like their garden thing. <gasps> it's Granny. Whoa, she didn't even turn around. Granny, can you hear me? Oh 
my gosh. Don't worry, Granny. If you're in there, I'm gonna get these gnomes. Just keep fighting the good fight. I won't let them get your cookies. Oh, wait a second. Are we racing? Oh my gosh, we're in a race. Okay, well, this is pretty unexpected, but I feel like this is a ploy by the gnomes. They're trying to distract me. They think that I will forget about my main mission if I am having a wonderful time cookie go-kart racing with my granny. And they're not completely wrong. Hey, oh, granny, pull ahead. Sorry, granny, I'm too competitive to allow you to do that, so I'm just gonna need to pull ahead of you again, get a few boosts, and I don't even know what we're competing for. Who knows? But we will get at the end of this race, but there's the house, so I guess we just did a big old loop of the yard. Cross the finish line and oh, oh, there she is. Oh, she's not gonna be happy. <gasps> she disappeared. Yeah, that only confirms my suspicions. Disappearing, that is some gnomish behavior. Wow, okay, production at the cookie factory clearly hasn't stopped. They are working granny to the bone. I need to stop this. I'm gonna stop it first by sliding down and oh my gosh. This is getting seriously out of control. How many cookies has she made today? Hundreds. Look, the entire floor is covered in cookies. It's too many cookies. Obviously, the gnomes have some sort of plan that requires heaps and heaps of cookies, but what do they want? What kinds of cookies are they getting Granny to bake? Free cookies! I don't know, seems suspicious. Well, but I don't know what happens down there. I mean, maybe I could go for some free cookies. Hey, that's a trick. There's a spike pit down there. Oh my gosh, these gnomes are tricky. Not fooling me. Yeah, not falling for that one today. Ooh, another air vent situation. Yeah, that's fine. I can handle it. Where are we going, though? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm just floating. <laughs> I don't want to fall into any of the void pits. Not when I have a beautiful octogenarian to save. I'm starting to wonder if they've got Granny working on a new recipe. Some sort of magical cookie that she hasn't made before. Maybe one that's more powerful than any of the other cookies she's baked before. But what could it be? What could be more powerful than a cookie of strength? A cookie of genius? Maybe I need to head outside and interrogate some gnomes. <laughs> First opportunity that comes up, I am going to be asking some gnomes some difficult questions. But first, we must do some more floating in the, in the air vent. Big floaty jumps. Oh, wow, we've actually got a pretty long way to go. All good. I can get to the top. I've got some gnomes I need to pay a visit to. <gasps> oh, here we go. Poor old granny just trying to get a break from the cookie factory and oh my gosh, look at the size of those gnomes! I knew it! I knew it! They've been eating the cookies that make you big and strong! Mm. All right, where's a gnome? I've got some questions. Oh, she does not want me going into the maze. I will talk to you later when I'm not being chased. I've got questions for you, okay? And if I wasn't being chased by my grandmother right now, I would ask them. And you, I want to know what you're up to. You're still small. I should probably talk to one of the big ones. Oh, there she is. Granny doesn't know what she's doing. She keeps making sounds like a velociraptor. It's pretty disturbing. All right, where are those giant gnomes gone? I want to talk to the head gnome, the manager gnome, the king gnome. Whoever's in charge here, I need to have a talk with you. You need to release my grandmother. Maybe we come up with some sort of system where you compensate her properly for time spent in the cookie factory, but you just can't be changing people's houses without asking them. You turned her whole kitchen into a cookie factory, and look, now I've drowned in a river. You've caused all sorts of problems for our family. Hey, look, finally, finally someone I can have a chat with. All right, I want to know what you two have been up to. Wait a second, what's that cookie? Is this the cookie that they've been working towards this whole time? What is it? The mega chocolate chip cookie of destiny? Oh no! Wait, who am I fighting? The keepers of the cookie? <gasps> oh my gosh, they've cloned Granny! Thank goodness I never go anywhere without my denture launcher. So that's what the gnomes have been up to. They have been forcing Granny to bake the most powerful cookie she has ever made. A cookie that can control destiny itself. That is so dangerous. We cannot allow that cookie to fall into the wrong hands. We just cannot. Even if they send bigger and bigger granny clones, I will not be stopped. Wow, hope granny forgives me for this. Hopefully once I explain to her that the entire world was in danger, she won't get upset at me for blowing up so many of her clones. We're almost there. This one's for granny. Oh my gosh, I think it worked. I broke the gnome spell. Okay, all we need to do now is get back to the house, find Granny, and see if we've resolved the whole mind control situation. 
Fortunately, someone has left a cookie car here. I will be taking that. Thank you very much. With a little bit of luck, hopefully the gnomes will have retreated safely back underground. Next time I see one, I'm not even going to hesitate. I'm going to hit them with a get off my lawn. Real firm like. Okay, almost home. Fingers crossed. I'm dancing. That's usually a good sign. I look happy. I'm dancing. I'm enormous. Woohoo! And there's Granny. All right, so we got good news and bad news. The good news is Granny appears to be unscathed. Bad news is I'm pretty sure she ate one of those cookies of extreme growth. Penny's birthday sleepover? It's the event of the year. Hey, thanks for coming over for my birthday. I wouldn't miss it for the world. I'm ready to watch movies and stay up late and just generally have a break from running for my life. We are gonna have so much fun at this sleepover. I can't wait. My nanny is home just in case anything goes wrong. Hello, kids. I'm the nanny. You can call me if you need anything. Wow, Penny's nanny seems really nice. We are gonna celebrate Penny's birthday with cake. Please take a seat at the kitchen table so we can have cake. Kicking off the birthday sleepover with cake already. This is incredible. This bodes well, a sign of things to come. One thing's for sure, there's no way this sleepover is going terribly wrong. Happy birthday, Penny. Look at that confetti cake. Chocolate chip cookie dough cake, your favorite. Guys, this is the best birthday ever. Thank you so much. No need to thank us, thank Nanny. And the cake is so delicious. Yeah, Ellie loves it. She's on her like third piece. Easy and Coco says, should we open your presents next? Oh, that is a great idea, Penny. Open my present first. You're gonna love it. Open mine first. Not so fast. You guys have to help me clean up the birthday decorations. But the party's just getting started. Why are we gonna clean up the birthday decorations now? After that, you guys can go open presents. No disrespect, Nanny, but it's backward system. We're about to get wrapping paper everywhere. Also, we've got a whole evening to enjoy these birthday decorations. Can't believe that I'm cleaning up all of these balloons now. Feels like a bit of a waste. Walk in the door, it's like nice balloons. Now put them in the bin. Maybe Nanny's a bit of a clean freak. She likes things nice and tidy. Doesn't like random stuff just hanging around. At least I snagged an extra piece of cake. That's all of the decorations. Time to open Penny's presents. Uh-oh, better smash this cake so I can wash my hands. It's delicious. Everyone, meet in the living room so we can open Penny's presents up. Can't wait for Penny to see what I got her. It's a baseball bat, a real good smasher. She can use it for everything. Baseball, self-defense, shaking apple trees, smashing cake. Wow, epic stash. These are awesome gifts, clothes and cool toys. What about my special birthday bat? You forgot to mention my bat. This is gonna be the best sleepover ever. Yeah, how can it not be when your bestie gets you a bat? A bestie bat? I know she loves it. There's one more special present I have for you, Penny. But you have to wait until tomorrow. Dang, Nanny, that's not exactly how birthdays work. Why does Penny have to wait until the day after her birthday? It's late, kids. You need to go to bed. Go to bed at 9 o'clock at a birthday sleepover? That is illegal. You can stay up all night as long as it's in your room. Have a fun sleepover. Oh, thank goodness, I was worried I was gonna have to fight Nanny. Here's the plan, my pals. We'll go upstairs and set up our bed so that everything is ready for when we actually want to go to sleep. Obviously, we'll not be going to sleep at 9 o'clock. That is just ridiculous. Let me know in the comment section what you think a normal time to go to sleep is during a sleepover. Like, if I'm in a sleepover and we're asleep before 11 o'clock, I'm like, was it even a very good sleepover? This one's fine. I want top bunk. We're not actually sleeping, right? It's a sleepover. We're supposed to stay up all night. Woohoo! Ellie gets it! Sleepovers are not for sleeping. They're for secrets. No, of course not. We're doing an all-nighter. Just wait until Nanny falls asleep. I don't even think we have to wait. Nanny said it was okay for us to stay up all night as long as we stayed in our room. I wonder what secret present your Nanny got you. I want to know what it is, too. Maybe it's inside that locked door. Penny, I'm sorry if this is an awkward question, but has your Nanny always been able to walk through solid objects? It's giving departed spirit. You guys want to go look for the secret present? A diabolical suggestion and exactly the kind of mischief I believe we should be getting up to on a sleepover? I vote yes. Sneak down and find secret present. I like how four people voted for adventure and one person's like, I'm so snoozy though. I don't care about a vote. It's my birthday, so we will sneak out to find the present. Well dang, Penny, we voted yes, so it's all good. We've got a consensus. Watch out for the loud steps on the stairway down. Hot tip from Penny, thank you very much. I don't want to wake up Nanny. Obviously, Nanny and I don't see eye to eye on everything. Cleaning up the birthday decorations immediately, ridiculous. 9 p.m. birthday bedtime, illegal. But it must be said, that cake she made was a banger. And if Nanny catches us sneaking around out of bed, she might not let us have birthday breakfast cake. 
and that's one of my favorite parts of a birthday sleepover. Let me know in the comment section your favorite kind of birthday party. Look, says me, the basement door is unlocked. Hmm, I think the present is in there. An uneducated guess from me, I don't know why the present would be in the basement. But Penny says, let's go check and see. Your birthday, your rules. I told you kids to stay in your room. What's going on? Is this what Nanny looks like when she takes off her makeup? No judgment. I just feel like everything's a lot more red than I remembered. This is my private area. No one can know about. All good, we'll just go back upstairs. I must end you. <laughs> good joke, Nanny. It's a, it's a good joke. It's a joke, right? Nanny is crazy. Run, everyone. She's not crazy. She's literally on fire. I see. Actually, you know what? I don't need to argue semantics. Crazy, on fire, neither of them are good. And I am not really good about this situation. I think that we should probably just exit Nanny's special basement. She feels very strongly about the basement. And I feel very strongly that we should all just leave. Let's leave and the door is locked. Do you want us to leave or not, Nanny? Put up the decorations. Take down the decorations. Get out of my <laughs> basement. You're trapped in the basement. I don't really mind either way, but I would like a little bit of consistency. To be fair to Nanny, one time my dad walked in the room while I was trying to wrap his secret birthday present, and this is pretty much how I reacted. Like, probably when it happened to me, there were less flames involved, but lots of yelling, get out of here, I will end you. So what I'm saying is, is Nanny really crazy, or is she a relatable queen? <laughs> Just a hard-working lady trying to surprise her granddaughter on her birthday. She's been pushed to the limit. She's got nothing left to give. We get the point, Nanny. We get it. Oh, she disappeared. That's ghostly. Penny says, we need to escape. There's a path right there. Yeah, true. I don't like Nanny so much when she's mad. I might be hitting the dusty trail. Laya says, let's jump in. Looks scary, though. But it is Penny's birthday. Penny's birthday. Penny's rules. And if she wants to, oh, slide down the sewage tunnel. I guess that's what we'll be doing. Happy birthday, Penny. Now we're in the sewer. Ew, we're in the sewers. We need to get across and climb out of here. It smells so bad. I can't stand it anymore. I'm just gonna go for it. If we're in the sewers, I'm embracing sewer life. Okay, sewer life is not all it was cut out to be. Bit of a life update, I'm no longer embracing the sewer life. Further life update, what happened to all of my friends? Penny? Ellie? Where is everybody? What if Nanny is waiting for us at the top? I say to no one in particular because everybody else has disappeared. There's only one way to find out. Penny, where are you hiding? Is it in the sewerage? Just go. Ah, there she is. We made it out. There's a long walk ahead of us, though. Let's go. Wow, it's daylight. How long were we in that sewer? And a long walk. Where are we walking to? Penny, where are the rest of our friends? I have, like, at least three pressing questions. Penny doesn't care. Penny's hitting the road. She wants to walk all the way to that asphalt wall. Oh, no, it's a tunnel. A car. Let's flag them down and ask if we can use their phone. Penny says, who's that? Kind of a silly question, Penny. It could be literally anyone. We haven't introduced many characters, so it might even be Nanny. Oh, no, it's two old ladies. Hello, sweet children. You guys seem lost. Can we help you get home? That would be amazing, actually. If you have a phone that we could use, maybe we can call my parents. Guys, they're old like our nanny. She probably sent them to kidnap us. Penny, you are throwing around some wild accusations. Uh-oh, I think they heard us. Don't be silly. We're just old grandmas. We want to help. Phone or no phone, old lady, I've had a rough night. Leave us alone. We don't want your help. Wow, tough talk from me. Kind of love it. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. Um, that kind of sounds like a threat. They threatened us. We have to fight the old ladies. Do we have to fight them right now? We could have like a little bit more of a chat before we, okay, no, attack the old ladies. Quick, Penny, your birthday bat. Obviously the circumstances are less than ideal, but bit exciting to take the old birthday bat for a test drive. Wow, these old ladies don't quit. Do we think that they were really sent by Penny's nanny? Or is this just like a separate incident of old people while... Oh my gosh, they did end me. Yeah, I simply must revive. I cannot leave Penny alone on this day of all days, her birthday. And her birthday wishes for me to fight old ladies. Got him. We can't trust anyone. What do we do now, Penny? It's a good question now that we've committed a terrible, terrible crime. We have to destroy our nanny once and for all. Apparently I want to do more crimes. Can't get enough of the birthday bat. 
She really does have a nice swing to her. Guess after that, we're criminals on the run, Bonnie and Clyde out on the lamb. Wait, what's happening to the road? I really hope that's geothermic activity. Uh-oh, oh my gosh, I just fell into the crevice. Is it an earthquake? A sinkhole? What's going on here? All right, it's giving underground cavern and... <gasps> Nanny! Have I mentioned lately how much I love your cake? I heard you kids want to destroy me. What? Destroy you? No. Such a shame. You are good kids. We're still good kids. I just want Penny to have a nice birthday. You are a terrible nanny. We will destroy you. Don't listen to Penny. That was a joke. Okay, just kidding. Now we're in a boss fight. Nanny, how did it come to this? The sleepover started off so promising. The cake, the prezzies. Obviously, we had a little bit of a hiccup with the decorations, but I thought we got over it. And yes, I do realize that we promised to stay in our room all night. And yes, it was a bit naughty to go looking for the secret present, but I really feel like you're overreacting. Okay, go for the ankles. Penny, I'm getting you another birthday present, apparently. The gift of destroying your nanny? It just doesn't sound right. Why is nanny so tough? Desperate times, calling for desperate measures. What looks like it could defeat a nanny? Ooh, lightsabers. She's purchasing. All right, Nanny, you know this has never been a fair fight. But now I believe it's time to level the playing field. Obviously, you're doing a lot with the power of your mind, creating lava out of thin air. But I've got a lightsaber now. Okay, Nanny? And I am going for your Achilles heel, which is your Achilles heel. It's both literal and metaphorical. And if there's one thing I know about Penny's Nanny, it's that she has weak ankles. Go on, Nanny, just let down the force field. Just for a second, thank you. That's for making me clean up the balloons before the party was done, and that's for my friend, and that's for ruining Penny's birthday. Oop, all eyes on the ceiling. What's gonna happen on the ceiling? Is someone going to descend from the ceiling? Oh no, it's just opening to reveal a more differently textured ceiling. Don't exactly know where they're going with this, but we love a surprise, and no! I'm trapped! Oh, it wasn't a ceiling at all, it was a cage. Told you we'd win, Nanny. Your time is up. And swing this round for flourish. Are we sure she's trapped in there? How secure is that cage? Just let me out of here and I won't bother you again. Can't do that, I'm afraid, Nanny. Can't do that. It's not that simple, Nanny. You tried to hurt us. It's true, you flew off the handle immediately and all we did was go into a basement. Guys, what should we do with Nanny? It's true, we can't just leave her in a subterranean cage. We're gonna need a more permanent solution. Feed her to the dogs, not that permanent. Unhinged suggestion, I definitely have to go with let the police handle it. I am not in the business of turning nannies into dog food. Let's be nice and let the cops handle this. Or really any adult. We are children. We do not need to be dealing with this stuff. Wow, we got the whole SWAT team here for nanny. I'm in a lot of trouble. But wait, I can explain. Explain it to the judge. You got the mercy ending. Wow, I'm a winner. It was a cold and dreary night when the little red car pulled up in front of the house, and you'll never guess who was inside. Oh, it's me. It's me and I'm tiny. I am a small, and these are my siblings. Parent says, All right, guys, I will be dropping you off to stay at your grandpa's for the weekend. That sounds like fun. I love staying at my grandparents' house. Me 2.1 says, Sounds fun. I wonder if grandpa has any special activities planned. Parent says, All right, guys, we have arrived. Make sure you take all your belongings from the back. Yeah, I can't forget that. I packed my PJs, I packed all my favorite stuffies, I put it all in this giant trunk. Which unfortunately is like the size of me. Oh, there we go, it shrunk. Okay, awesome, let's go say hi to Grandpa. He's probably been waiting for us to arrive, just hanging out by the window. Hey, Perry, can I get a hug before you- Okay, yep, just into the tunnel. That's cool. Uh, I didn't- I didn't need a hug anyway. I was busy with my next mission. Walk to the door. Why is walk to the door in such a scary font? Is something scary gonna happen at Grandpa's house? Okay, that's a creaky door. Is it just me, or is Grandpa's house a little bit creepier than it used to be? I don't know, maybe it is just me. Oh, there's Grandpa! Better go say hello! Grandpa, it's so nice to see you, and oh my gosh. Who are you guys? Are Grandpa's teeth sharper than I remember? And what's with that portrait? Also, what's with him not remembering who we are? Lemon Lisi says, We are your grandchildren. Do you not remember? Grandpa says, I don't have any grandchildren. Whoa, I'm worried about Grandpa. This is strange behavior. Me 2.1 says, Do you not remember us? You used to play baseball with us. Come on, Grandpa, you remember. I don't remember no baseball games. Get out of my house. But Parent is already gone. Where are we supposed to go? 
Oh, Me Too Point One says, Run! Why are we running though? We have to help Grandpa. Oh my gosh, unless he is chasing us with a pitchfork. Actually, scratch that. He was trying to chase us with a pitchfork, but now he is stuck face down in the carpet. You okay there, Grandpa? Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah. No, I've revived him. Maybe I should have left him on the carpet. Um, sir, we are just children. Whether we are your grandchildren or not is beside the point. You should not be chasing anybody with farm tools. I'm also a little bit worried about Grandpa's maniacal, evil cackling situation. It's a bit unnerving. If you think that I'm going to make it through the weekend with Grandpa, like this video. Thank goodness the peaceful music has returned. I believe Grandpa's rampage is over. Grandpa, you're like finished chasing everybody with a pitchfork, right? We don't need to do that again. Wait, Kawaii Cunicorn, is that you? Yes, it's me, Grandpa. Maybe he was just fooling. Maybe he was just pretending not to recognize us. Was that it, Grandpa? Were you just fooling around? Oh golly, I didn't recognize you, kiddo. Here, come sit to have some lemonade. You must be thirsty. I know I am. Yeah, true. Being chased by your grandpa with a pitchfork when he doesn't recognize you does make you pretty thirsty. I don't want to get dehydrated. Maybe I should drink some lemonade. Mmm, it's delicious and cold. Very nice of you to put some ice cubes in here for us, Grandpa. And it's the perfect amount of sweetness. Grandpa always did make the best lemonade. What do you think's going on here? Do you think that Grandpa doesn't recognize us? Let me know in the comment section what you think the deal is. All right, younglings, now that you guys are all settled, I have some work to do outside. Would you like some help, Grandpa? Looks like you have some hay bales that need tossing or something. There's a reason you have the pitchfork, right? No, I think I can do it myself. Plus, I think you should take a look around the house. After all, you should know where everything is if you're staying here for a few days. All right. I mean, sure, I can take a look around the house, but I've been here before. This is my grandpa's house. I, I know where I am, but sure. Yeah, let's, let's have a look around the house. Maybe grandpa wants to show off his interior decorating. Okay, um, empty fridge. That's a little bit worrying. Cobwebs in all of the corners. That's also a little bit worrying. I wonder if I need to talk to parent about this. Maybe grandpa's not doing too well. Okay, uh, this must be his bedroom. Looks pretty nice and neat. That's good. And then, hmm, what's in here? Don't, I can't seem to get in this door. And this one looks like it's locked. My sibling says, did you guys hear that? Um, no, I didn't actually. What did you hear? Uh, yeah, it sounds like it came from where Grandpa is working. Oh, well, okay, what well, was the sound, though? I didn't hear it. We should go check to see if he's okay. Yeah, sounds like a good idea to me. I mean, I didn't hear the sound, but yeah, let's go see what Grandpa's up to. Maybe we can see what he's working on in the backyard. Maybe he's setting up the veggie garden. Oh, okay, looking a bit creepy out here. It sounds like it came from in here. In where? You don't mean the old barn! Let's go inside, says me. I'm sure that nothing scary is happening in the old barn. Let's just throw on open these farm doors and see what Grandpa's up to. He's probably in here like sharpening his teeth or something. Oh my gosh, no! <gasps> Grandpa, what happened? Oh my gosh, he's on the ground. We have to help him. Oh, thank goodness he's awake. Grandpa, did you have some sort of fall? Was there a farm accident? Where are you going? Grandpa, are you okay? This is weird behavior. Something weird is happening. Just a little scratch, nothing too serious. Hey, will you go grab me my first aid kit? It's somewhere around here in the shed. I forget where, though. First aid kit. Great idea. Okay, I will have a look behind these hair barrels. Everyone just spread out. We can find this first aid kit quickly. We have to help Grandpa. He already didn't recognize us when we showed up. Honestly, the last thing he needs is a head injury. Found it! Grandpa, I've got it! Okay, here you go. What do we need? Here, Grandpa. Hope this helps. Is there anything else I can do? Maybe you want, like, a glass of water? You should probably sit down. Thanks for getting that for me. Hey, look, anytime. Maybe just remember this the next time you get the urge to chase me with a pitchfork. No problem. Anything for you, my sharp-toothed patriarch. Hey, can you guys help fix my tractor? I pretty much did a good portion of the work. There are just a few parts laying around, and once those are placed in, the tractor should be as good as new. Sure, just go inside and get some rest. Go on, put your feet up, grab yourself a wagon wheel, and watch some Wheel of Fortune or something. We'll take care of this tractor, no problem. Okay, quickly, does anyone know how to fix a tractor? First, we gotta find all the parts, which you'd think would be pretty simple, but I don't know the first thing about tractors, so what does a tractor part look like exactly? I have no idea. I'm just gonna climb up here and see if there's anything that looks tractor part-ish. Anything in any of these boxes? No, don't see anything here. Hmm, okay, I already looked that way, bud. I'm gonna check down here in the barn. Oh, that looks like a piece! Awesome, all right. Oh, it's a chair. <laughs> yeah, I'll place that in. 
Well, I'm finding these tractor parts. See if you can find the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get to 3 million subscribers. So if you can help me out, that would be so, so nice. Oh, we've only got three seconds left. Have we found all the pieces? All right. Hope that's it. That's the last part on. Grandpa will be happy to have this up and running. Yeah, for sure. This is going to make things a lot easier around the farm. Lemon Lisi says, I'm sure he will. Job well done, everybody. Hey, guys, I'm a little sleepy. I think we should go to bed. Yeah, I'm pretty sleepy from running away from Grandpa and also building a tractor. Oh, look, I'm responding to myself. I'm like, yeah, me too. Let's make our way to our room. Did any of you see where we're sleeping? I don't even think I saw where our room is. Finally, we're home. Let's go upstairs. Yeah, good idea. I'm sure we can find the guest room up here. Seems like Grandpa isn't home yet. I wonder where he is. Maybe check on him? Wow, that is super weird. You'd think that Grandpa would have told us that he was heading out of the house. It says, go up to your room. Oh, but where's our room? Did Grandpa show any of you where we're meant to be sleeping? I'm pretty sure this is Grandpa's room and there's not enough beds for all of us, so I don't really know where we're supposed to go. And how are we supposed to get in touch with Grandpa? I don't even think that he has a cell phone. There's something strange going on. Oh, look, this is definitely our room. Oh, yeah, this is great. Enough beds for everybody. We've got some toys. Alep says, night, guys. See you in the morning. Yeah, I am pooped. I cannot wait to go to bed. 2.55 a.m. Oh, no. What's happening at 3 a.m.? Did you guys hear that? Yeah, I did hear that. That was like a weird thumping noise. I definitely heard it that time. Yeah, it sounds like it came from down the hallway. Grandpa might have fallen again. We have to go check on him. I got you guys. More info needed. Um, got us a present? <laughs> okay, that's an evil laugh. Grandpa, everything cool? <gasps> Whoa, what's happening? Where am I? I'm waking up on the floor. Guys, what happened? I don't know, Lemon Lisi. The last thing that I remember, Grandpa came into the room and then... I don't know. I don't remember anything. Well, something happened because we are in the barn. Alep says, why are we in the barn? It's a good question. Okay, and the barn seems to be locked? I don't know, says Alep, but Grandpa has gone mad. We should find a way to get out of this barn. I don't disagree. I don't like being trapped in the barn. Alep says, I remember Grandpa telling me that he had a certain key that unlocked the barn doors. I just don't remember where it was. That's fine. Let's try looking around for it. I'm sure there's got to be the key here somewhere. Here's the thing I'm worried about, though. I don't know that Grandpa's gone mad. I'm starting to worry that maybe he has dementia. Oh, I found the key. Uh, found it, everybody. We are getting out of this barn. We gotta call parent. I think Grandpa needs to see his family doctor. My sibling says, great. Now let's get out of here. Yeah, good idea. I want to get out of here. It's cold and scary in the barn. Oh my gosh. Okay, Grandpa, what's with the flame? You guys thought you could escape that easy. Let me make it harder for you. Grandpa, put down that fire. Okay, not like that. Oh my gosh, he's a fire starter. He's a barn burner. We need to get out of here. Unfortunately, the exit is a flame. Quick, I said, let's climb out that window. I mean, I guess if it's not actively on fire, it's probably a better option. Escape through the window. Quick, climb up here, everybody. We got to get up this ladder, run across here, and okay, don't fall down. Don't, don't do what I did, because there's quite a lot of flame happening. Okay, this way, everyone. Now we just got to watch out for Grandpa. Okay, there's one of my siblings. Two. We need to cross this field. Uh-oh, did we lose somebody? Did somebody perish in the fire? This is going to be a really awkward one to explain to our parent when they come to pick us up. How was your weekend? Yeah, it was good until it turned out Grandpa's an arsonist. Also, were you, like, really attached to having four children or would three do? Oh, no, I used it. Revive, revive. Could try to cross the field or could try to hail a passing vehicle. Help! Help someone! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You thought you could get away from me? Ha-ha! Now it's time to finish what I started. Did Grandpa just ram into that car? Quick, run to the cornfield! We can lose him in there! Grandpa, stop ramming cars! Oh my gosh, okay. Run to the cornfield! Ouch, I just got hit by a car. <laughs> okay, let's try to run to the Oh, let's try to run to the cornfield without getting hit by any more cars! <laughs> Why can't I go on the sidewalk? Ah! No, no, revive! Just gotta get to the corn. The safety of the corn. Where's the corn? Is this the cornfield? Oh, looks a bit corny. I hope he doesn't see me. I think we lost him. What you talking about, Holly? His tractor's right there, right behind you. Where do we go from here? Okay, I think I've lost all my siblings and I'm now just talking to myself. The madness sets in. I don't know, but we have to get out of here somehow. 
Let's try to find a way out. I mean, there is a road right behind me, but you know what? It's fine. I I'm going to escape the corn maze. Surely Grandpa can't find us in the corn maze. I mean, Grandpa can't even remember the faces of his own grandchildren. I don't think he's going to remember how to navigate the corn maze. Do I have like a plan though? Like, am I going to try to like call my parent? Am I going to try to run to a neighbor's house? I need to get an adult and I need to get some help somehow. Because I'm not fully convinced that Grandpa has gone mad exactly. I think that we might be seeing some early signs of Alzheimer's. I guess regardless of the cause, Grandpa has done quite a lot of damage to the family unit this weekend. I guess I'm now an only child? It must be said though, isn't it a bit ironic that Grandpa had us fix the tractor that then he used to like try to chase us down? But isn't that always the way I am putting in the work? I am sweating trying to fix this tractor and then Grandpa is just using it to like run over my siblings. We made it! I say we, I mean I. There's no one else here. When's parent coming? Oh my gosh, is that parent? Uh, that is a taxi! <gasps> taxi, taxi, taxi! Get in! I can give you a lift, says car owner. Okay, but are you a taxi? Or just like a random person? Oh no, what if it's Grandpa? I have the fear! <gasps> you thought you could escape! Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, can we just like talk about this, Grandpa? Can we like use our words, communicate, or... Okay, no, bad ending. Got it. The end! Please, I don't understand what I did wrong! You've been a bad child. It's time for your time out. You can come out when you learn to be good and behave. And just like that, I'm in a cage. Interesting that my stepmom thinks a cage can contain me. It absolutely cannot. I have already escaped. So there's a few things I need to point out here. Number one, putting your stepkids in a cage is very bad stepmom behavior. Also, I think my stepmom might be a robot. So maybe that has something to do with things. On the bright side, a battery. Not me doing the work of an electrician. She's a woman in STEM. Do we think that my robot stepmom will be less angry at me if I fix the electrical box? It's possible. I found the second battery. I'm going to put it in to the electrical box. I'm powering the building. I'm creating electricity. And it looks like that moved the trap door. Amazing, I've finally escaped from the attic. Wow, okay, it looks like during the time I was stuck in the attic, my stepmom has been up to some tomfoolery. For starters, we never used to have bars in the house. Like, by all means, do some decorating, but this whole, like, planks of wood covering the door situation, I just don't know if it's a look. Might take matters into my own hands, actually. I found a crowbar, and I'm just gonna take this down. Yeah, that's better. And now we have access to the library. Why wouldn't my stepmom want me to be able to come into the library? That's suspicious, if you ask me. I think my robot stepmom might be up to something. Up to something nefarious. First she locks me in a cage, she puts bars on the doors, she blocks access to the library. Just look at when we used to be a happy faceless family. Back in the good old days before my stepmom turned into a robot. Thank goodness this door opened, now I can see what my stepmom's really up to. Error! You are not in timeout! Bad children who don't follow the rules will be control alt deleted. Prepare for your punishment. Initiating chase sequence. Chase sequence? First you lock me in a cage and now you want to chase me all over my own home? Well, I've had enough. Me and my step-siblings are not putting up with this anymore. Isn't that right? Yeah, we're in cahoots. We say no to cages. We say no to chasing. We say yes to collecting the key. I'm gonna take this key and I'm gonna unlock that door and I'm gonna get me and my step-siblings out of here. Kind of wondering where everybody is though. Wonder if my stepmom was bluffing about the whole chase situation. Oh no, there she is. She's doing a chase. I might be wrong, but I swear when she married my dad, she did not have a giant wind up key sticking out of her back. Okay, listen up everybody. It is time to make a decision. If you think that we should run away from home, put a running emoji in the comment section. If you think that we should stay and try to sort things out with my evil robotic stepmother, then put a house emoji in the comment section, but I will be questioning your judgment. As usual, the results of this emoji poll will be incredibly scientific and also binding. I think you can probably guess what I think the best decision is. It's to get out of this house immediately, but the door is closed, obviously. <gasps> Ooh, that looks like the place to go! Okay, I found the door that I need to unlock, but unfortunately, Step Mummy won't stop chasing me! Oh my gosh. Is this progress? I've escaped the attic, and now I'm trapped in the basement. Ooh, unless I can escape under the house. <gasps> A subterranean lair. Does my dad know that my stepmom has built a subterranean lair underneath the house? I kind of feel like he doesn't. I'm also not sure if he's aware that she's a robot now. I guess what I'm saying is I think that my dad and I have to have a little chat. 
just as soon as I get me and all of my step-siblings to safety. That is job number one here. Of course, the biggest mystery that we have to solve is at what point was my stepmother replaced by an evil robot? Like, I'm pretty sure that she was not an evil robot when we met. She seemed distinctly like a person. And you saw that portrait, that family portrait upstairs. She definitely looked like a person. Obviously, hindsight is 2020, and looking back on it, there were some clues. Like a couple of weeks ago, when she stopped making dinner and started asking me to plug her in at night. That was probably a clue. Also, she used to sometimes ask me to help her tie her shoes, but lately she's been asking if I can help her grease her wheels. And I'm pretty sure that she didn't used to have wheels. Also, she forgot to sign a permission slip for me a couple of weeks ago, and then when I reminded her, she told me that her memory bank was full and I was gonna have to delete some files to make more room for storage. I guess looking back on it, probably there's been a lot of mounting evidence. And to be honest, I don't think I'd actually mind that much if my stepmom was a robot, as long as she was a nice robot. It's just the whole evil robot thing that I guess I've got a problem with. But we have to work with the cards we've been dealt, and for me, it turns out that is evil bionic stepmother. So, you know, just gonna do my best. Ooh, what's this pink target? Oh, wow, it's a trampoline. <laughs> See, it's not all bad around here. It's not all evil step-parents. Sometimes I get to jump on a weird trampoline. Do gotta wonder what she's working on down here. Oh, whoa. You don't think she's planning on turning the rest of the family into robots, do you? Like, no shade to robots, but I think I'd rather stay in my flesh prison. If she tries to turn me into a robot even once, I am gonna be so mad. Ooh, maybe escape down the sewer. That's not a sewer. I'm back in my house. Oh, she is not gonna like this. There are good children listen to their mom and dad. It looks like you don't have this program installed. Let mommy help you with that so you can be a good child. Oh no, worst fears confirmed. She does want to turn me into a robot and she wants to reprogram me. Also, I completely reject the idea that I am a bad kid. I'm actually a very good kid. I just don't like being locked in a cage or turned into a robot. If that makes me a bad kid, then so be it. But I will not be sitting idly by while you try to reprogram me and my siblings. Oh no, I am going to get out of here. Oh, I need one more key. Oh no, there she is. <laughs> okay. Wish I hadn't helped her grease that wheel. It's fine, it's gonna be fine. I'm sure the other key is around here somewhere. Oh, there it is, hiding on the bookshelf. Hope she's not around this corner. Where are you? All right, just gonna get to the door. Come on, come with me. I've got the key, let's go together. Where is my phone? I need to call my dad at work. Or maybe I should wait to call until I at least get out of this house. Whoa, is that a skateboard? Snowboard? I don't know what it is, but it is fun. Why so many spikes though? I feel like my stepmom might have something to do with this. But no matter, I am an expert snowboarder and I am flying over the spikes with ease. Okay, please be outside, please be outside. Oh no, it's not outside, it's an axe room. Yeah, there's been a lot of redecorating while I was in the attic. Like when I asked my stepmom if we could turn one of the rooms in the house into like a hangout space for me and my friends, she said, no, there's not enough room, but apparently there's plenty of room for axes. An entire axe room. Who needs this? Completely unnecessary. But no matter, I will escape to safety by jumping on these glowing ice cream sandwiches. Wait, these aren't ice cream sandwiches at all and they're disappearing and, oh. okay, yep. Better try that again. Okay, quickly, 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 and up onto the stairs. I'm starting to think that maybe my stepmom didn't realize what hard work it would be to be a step-parent, and that's why she's trying to reprogram us all to be perfect children. But so what if we're not perfect? Not being perfect is what makes us ourselves. If we were just perfect little robots, then we'd all be exactly the same, and that would be, like, so boring. And when she agreed to join this family, there was absolutely no talk of turning the children into robots. I think if we had discussed it, it would have been a no from me and probably also from my dad. She is definitely determined to turn us into robots, though. Look at the size of this factory. She has been planning this for months, but she is underestimating my will to survive. I am a survivor, except for now, obviously. Overall, I am a survivor. Maybe me and her can chat this out. You know, stepkid to robot, have a real heart to heart. Get her to understand that she doesn't need to be threatened by my relationship with my dad. I actually liked her a lot, up until the point where she started locking me in cages and trying to reprogram me. That kind of put a damper on the relationship. Maybe we can come to some sort of arrangement. I will try to be very well behaved if she promises not to lock me in a cage. I'm also gonna need in the agreement that I get to continue being human. It's actually kind of a core value to me. I need to make sure that nobody is trying to interfere with my humanity. 
I don't know if this might surprise you, but I've actually been human since the day I was born. And I'd like to keep it that way. Oops. Well, look who it is. Hello, I'm here to have a peaceful, reasonable conversation. If we could just have a little chat, talk about our feelings, and oh no, you want to fight. Why don't you listen to your mom? We know what is best for you. The probability is 99% guaranteed. Final protocol engaged. Beginning battle sequence. Look, I did not come here for a fight. But if it's a fight you want, a fight you'll get. What do you think my dad's gonna say when he gets home and I have to explain that I fought and defeated my stepmom in the battle arena? I'm gonna say he's gonna be surprised. Pretty sure this is not a normal step-parent-stepchild relationship. There's usually less robots. Obviously, sometimes there's a bit of fighting, but I feel like it's usually done with words and not bazookas. Maybe once I'm finished the destroying and she sees that I'm not going to be pushed around, that I am going to stand up for myself, maybe we can build a new relationship based on mutual respect. Oh, or she might just blow up. Mommy is going to self-destruct now. Woohoo! No more getting locked in a cage. No more getting trapped in the attic. We're dancing. Oh no, how did that happen? I thought she was gone forever. Oh no, she's disappeared again. Hmm, she's sneaky, this bionic stepmother of mine. But hopefully she is gone forever. I don't really need to wait around and find out though. Might just uh, head on up here, see how things are going at the old homestead. Do still need to call my dad. How am I going to explain this whole situation? Bit of a tricky one. Time to enjoy the fireworks of freedom. Auntie, I'm here! I'm here to spend the weekend! Why are you sleeping? Why are you sleeping with your eyes open? Should I be concerned about your eyeballs? Bruh. Because they kind of look like they're popping out of your head. Anyway, I should probably let her sleep, especially because my dad says that she's kind of evil. I have not seen any evidence of this so far. <laughs> so that laugh sounds evil. Okay, and Auntie is awake. Hi, Auntie, it's Holly. I'm so sorry to wake you. And look, I kind of thought that you knew that I was staying for the weekend, but the way that you're chasing me down the hallway, it kind of makes me feel like maybe... <gasps> <gasps> maybe you don't. Okay, so new information unlocked when my dad said that my auntie is a bit evil. I don't think he was kidding. Probably need to get an opinion from you, my pals. When you go and visit your auntie for the weekend, does she like cackle maniacally and chase you down the hallway? Maybe this is normal auntie behavior. I don't really know. I just get the feeling it's not like a fun chase. It's not like a playful chase. I feel like it's a blood grudge chase. I feel like she is chasing me out of her home. Oh, she just fell asleep. But her eyes are open, the eyeballs, they are bulging. I'm worried they're going to dry out. But on the bright side, now that I'm not in a hot pursuit situation, I guess this means I can explore the rest of the house. Love the spiral staircase and okay, this is a bit strange. So my auntie's been doing some interesting decorating up in the attic. Looks like she decided to start with a lava pit, a classic addition to any modern home. Um, I also really love the floating candles that she's hung from the ceiling. Very creepy. And then, what is this? Is this a ball of yarn or is this a meatball? And then, of course, the bear traps and my auntie's head busting through the wall. She's kind of up there looking like one of those hunting trophies. You know when people, like, shoot a deer and put its head on the wall? It's weird. Looks like we found the bathroom. This is strange. We've got... A flying fox leading out the window. We've got coals under the bathtub. Is is this is this actually a bath? I'm confused. I want to have a look. Oh my gosh, what's happening there? I'm scared. Is it cream of tomato soup? Is that an eyeball? <laughs> oh no, it's my untimely demise. Okay, so new information about my auntie. It seems like she is doing something very, very wrong in this bathtub. Like, the bathtub is not a place of cooking. We do not do food prep in the toilet. Also, she appears to be making eyeball and tentacle soup and a bit of garlic. I need to see this recipe. Anyway, I'm now terrified of eating in my auntie's house for the rest of my life. On to the flying fox. What further horrors await? Is that a pit of spikes in my... Okay, narrowly missed the pit of spikes. Why is there a pit of spikes in here? The evidence is piling up around me why my dad said that my auntie might be a little bit evil. Like, true or false, if you don't want people to think you're evil, maybe your house should have less spike pits. I'm just out here offering practical suggestions. Continuing on with my auntie's house tour, and I still haven't found anywhere that looks like somewhere I can sleep tonight. Especially not here with all this broken glass. This whole place is a death trap. I am terrified of what we're going to be eating for breakfast. Counting down the minutes until my parents pick me up. Hey, what's in here? That was a pretty dramatic door opening. Oh, hi, auntie. Wow, I uh, smelled the uh, eyeball and tentacle soup that you're cooking over there in the bathtub. And wow, yeah, it smells really good. And hey, what's with the... What's with the glowing staff? I've never noticed your walking stick before. Does it contain a powerful magical object? 
And like, I'm just making conversation here, but like, do you use it for good or evil? Might not wait for an answer to that one. Might just run through this door. Oh, the dramatic music has stopped, and I believe that means she has fallen asleep. Just dodge these bear traps and up the ramp to safety. Quick poll that I'm throwing out to the group. If you think that my auntie is using her magical powers for good, put a star emoji in the comment section. But if you think she's using them for evil, I want to see an evil monster emoji. This is very scientific. Oh my gosh, I have entered an orb. I'm in my orb era, a bubble girl. Who me? Just by the and spiked it. Okay, so new information. Apparently my auntie has an orb generator. And now that I'm encased in this beautiful turquoise bubble, there's just nothing to do but roll. I should probably rephrase that roll, but also simultaneously try to avoid the spike pit. Auntie loves spike pits. They're like her favorite. It's good in some ways because it makes it easy to shop for presents for her. You're like, oh, what does Andy want for her birthday? And then it's like, oh, the answer's obvious, a spike pit. And then Christmas comes around and you're like, oh, should we all like pool our money together maybe and like buy her a really big spike pit? And everyone's like, yeah, amazing idea. She loves that. We go down to spike pits or us. I get a stamp card. I buy nine spike pits and I get one for free. Okay, there's a lot. There's more skeletons down here than I would like you know, as part of my auntie's house. Exiting my bubble era, straight into my subterranean cave phase, and wow, this is more magical than I was anticipating. Um, we've got a skeleton over here. Hate that, but on the other hand, magical oasis. Don't mind if I do. Come on in, everybody, the water's beautiful. And there's mysterious things down here, like floating spike balls. Always with the spike balls, she just loves it. She just couldn't resist. Just had to turn this underwater oasis into an underwater spike pit. You know what? I kind of respect it. Honestly, this is not even the weirdest weekend away I've had at a relative's house. Like, you should have seen what happened when I stayed with my grandpa. And if you're like, hey, I don't remember that video, then maybe you want to subscribe to my channel because my goodness, you are missing out. Oh, this looks like the other end of the oasis. Where will we emerge? <gasps> oh, magic? But what awaits on the shore? Okay, just a box. Lots of mysterious mist and sparkles in this room, though. It's definitely giving me like a powerful magic vibe. I don't know, oh, what we might find. Are those multicolored frogs? Things are getting weird in here. Is Auntie keeping a subterranean frog enclosure? What? Do the frogs have anything to do with the skeletons? Well, I'm scared. So I've decided that I don't need to see the frogs. I'm a little bit scared of the frogs. It's mostly the fact that the frogs are surrounded by so many skeletons. Oh no, I'm near the frogs. Okay, move slowly, move slowly, and maybe the frogs won't see you. They might look cute and innocent, but like I said, skeletons. So many skeletons. <laughs> He's a little bit freaky. I just had no idea that all of this could exist underneath my auntie's house. Like, who knew? Once again, I have a sneaking suspicion that my family will not believe me when I get home from my auntie's house and report on what I've seen. I mean, would you believe me? We have creepy looking plants. We have phosphorescent mushrooms. We even have possibly killer frogs. Everything is going down at my auntie's house and I still have not found a spare bedroom. Am I going to find one in this cave? Oh my gosh, but I found a waterfall. <gasps> beautiful. Into another beautiful oasis. I guess what my auntie's house lacks in guest bedrooms, it more than makes up for in beautiful swimming holes. Like the waterfall, totally majestic. The phosphorescent mushrooms, I am obsessed. I guess I'm mostly worried about a place to sleep and also what might be on the menu. I hope it's not bath soup. Ooh, a plank of wood I see. Am I about to do a bit of construction? This might be a bit of fun. Should I carry it into this dark hole? Might just carry it into the void. And oh no, it's not void at all. There's something, something definitely here. Oh, looks like I could build a bridge here. Uh, okay, maybe not. How am I supposed to do this? Eventually. I just don't think I'm cut out to be a construction worker. Like I went into this with full enthusiasm, but boy, building bridges is hard. Is that the last one? Please be the last one. I don't even know where I'm going. I'm just trying to move forward. Okay. Bit dark, and what is this place? What is this? Okay, we're levitating, we're glowing. Okay, I'm a little bit scared of the mask and it's spinning around me, and where are you taking me? Oh, good. Space, or another dimension. What is happening here? Oh, thank goodness, finally a snack. A delicious glowing chili pepper that is, okay, doing something weird to me, and now I am moving. <gasps> 
really fast. I didn't know that there were gonna be so many floating masks in this dimension. Literally, what is going on with the mask? Like, are these my auntie's masks? Is she harnessing a powerful ancient magic? Or are the masks controlling her? Maybe she's not evil at all. Maybe the masks are telling her what to do. Maybe I should run into this glowing circle and... Okay, then where am I now? Okay, back in the cave. Thanks for the trip, glowing mask, and why do I suddenly have a bazooka? Am I going to have to face off with the floating masks? What were they trying to tell me by taking me to that other dimension? Are the floating masks in cahoots with the rainbow frogs? Full of questions, but I guess I'm not gonna find out anything until my floating platform reaches the surface and... Okay, now, nope. back in my cave. Why can't anyone in my family be normal? I just want to have a nice weekend away for once. I wanted to watch reality TV and go garage selling and eat mole teasers. But instead, it looks like I'm going to have to have a showdown with my auntie, her levitating masks, and her magic staff. Oh, good. And she's enormous. Now I understand why I have the bazooka. This shouldn't be too difficult, right? Okay, unless my granny starts harvesting powerful ancient magic to throw fireballs at me. What did I ever do to you? I feel like if anything, you have an argument with my dad. This is not between us. Does this count as healthy family bonding? I gotta say, when I pictured the weekend, I really was thinking less fireballs. I mean, like, beautiful setting. It's nice to be out here in the moonlight. Don't get me wrong, Auntie, I am delighted to be here for the weekend. I just didn't really think you'd summon so many meteors. But you know what? We're learning about each other, and that's beautiful. I'm learning that you can levitate, and you're learning that I'm pretty good with a bazooka. And isn't that what family bonding is all about? And as the fireballs filled the night sky that night and I blasted my auntie into oblivion, I thought about the importance of family. Just kidding, I'm just out here trying to survive and not eat eyeball soup. What now, you ask? Well, now that I have blasted my auntie with a bazooka, I don't really know what the rest of the weekend looks like. I might order some pizza, I might see if I can form an alliance with the levitating masks. I might enjoy a beautiful moonlit walk along the pier and or beach. One thing's for sure, though. When my dad comes to pick me up and he asks if my auntie was behaving evilly this weekend, I'm gonna have to be honest. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'll just tell him about the spike pits and the eyeball soup and the rainbow frogs and the levitating mass. And you know what? Actually, forget all that. He's never gonna believe it. 